Hi everyone and welcome back to VR Adventures. It's a beautiful autumn day today here in Bucharest and I'm gonna take you to see one of the most iconic places of Bucharest which is right over there across the street it's the Arch of Triumph. It's inspired by the Arch of Triumph in Paris and um, this is one of the reasons, the many reasons Bucharest was dubbed to be the little Paris of Europe. It's not usually open for visitation, so today it's a lucky day for you. So we're gonna go show you around and then we're gonna go up so to see the view. So stay with me till the end. It's gonna be totally worth it as well. During the tour, I'm gonna give you some more details about the history of this place, how it became, how it became what it is today. And it's totally worth it. So see you. You'll find the Arch of Triumph in the northern part of Bucharest, in the middle of one very busy intersection. The monument reminds passers-by of the Romanian army's victory in the First World War and the Great Union of 1918. Built after the French model, the Arch of Triumph in Bucharest is the little brother of its French counterpart in Paris and stands 27 meters tall compared to the 50 meters height of the French one. Inaugurated in 1936 after many years of construction, the monument quickly became an iconic landmark. Its marble bas reliefs depict the struggles of the Great War and if you look up you'll see the names of the cities that were liberated by the Romanian army. Every year on the 1st of December, the Triumphal Arch is the center stage for the National Day military parade. This date has a great significance for the Romanian people as it commemorates the Great Union, which is the event that led to the unification of all historic Romanian provinces into one single state. The monument also has a dark period. During the communist regime, the images of Queen Mary and King Ferdinand I were removed and replaced by flowers. After the Romanian Revolution of 1989 though, which marked the end of the communist regime, the authorities placed on the monument two big bronze medallions depicting the king and the queen, the rulers that made possible the great union during their reign. If you're in Bucharest, make sure you pay the arch a visit. And if you want to try out the view from the top, make sure you visit it during the weekends. The nearest subway station is at the Aviatogilor Square and then you'll just have to take a quick walk to reach it. You can also visit the Village Museum and um, the Michael I Park which is in the vicinity and you can see it from the top view that's coming up and we'll see in just a minute. Time to put my mask on, we don't want to get COVID today. As you walk up the 145 steps, and yes, I have counted each one of them, you will discover interesting facts about the history of the Romanian people and about our centuries-long fight for unity and independence. The most important rulers that have made their contribution towards achieving this goal of our nation are honored inside with historical pieces that witness their deeds. Visitors can see four expos, the Great War of Reunification, the Heraldry of the Great Noble Families, the Arch of Triumph in Images, and the Great Union of 1918, where you will find the Crown and the Royal Scepter of Romania. I will now let you have a look around as we go up to see the view from the top, which it's exciting. The top of the monument offers you the chance to enjoy a stunning view of the northern part of Bucharest. You can see parts of the northern business district and its skyline. 
you can see the King Michael the First Park, which is actually the biggest park in Bucharest. You can see the National Rugby Stadium and also the Palace of Free Press. This view is just breathtaking and it's actually totally worth the 145 steps that you need to climb. And in a clear day like this, you can take the time to enjoy the beautiful urban scenery that unfolds before your eyes. Well, how is that for a view, right? This is just absolutely stunning. It's one of the reasons so many people love Bucharest in, in Romania. Thanks for, you know, staying with me today, watching the whole video. Like and subscribe if you really enjoyed it. And if you want to see the next pieces I'm going to put in, I put in and upload them. Also, I'm really curious about what you enjoy the most and what do you want to see here in Bucharest? Just leave that in the comment section and I'll reply to it. And if I find the idea really interesting, maybe I'll just go and do a video there. So, see you next time.